Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do an unboxing, a full flip through, a review, whatever you'd like to call it, of the Tarot of the Vampires by Charles Harrington, illustrated by Craig Mayer. And this was just released a couple months ago. I believe it was either July or August. Okay, and this is from Llewellyn Publishers. First of all, it comes in a very sturdy box. Okay, and if you watch my uh, reviews, you know that the packaging is very important to me because it's going to protect your cards. And it's going to be a magnetic closure. Okay, flip box. And then inside, we're going to have our little ribbon here that you use to pull out the book. And let's take a look at the book first. And the book is going to be a glossy finish. Okay, and inside... We are going to have, oh, color pictures. I love it already. <laughs> and we have uh, Come Away With Me in the Night. It says, you have always known there was a secret world existing alongside our own. You have seen glimpses of it in the shadows, heard its whispers in the night air, and felt the call deep within your soul. The sun sets on the world of mortals, awaken to the night of the vampire. So it's an introduction uh, to this deck of cards. Okay, and then it's going to go into uh, chapter two. Wait a second. Oh, chapter one, Shadow of the Vampire. Chapter two. Uh, a Merciful Brief History of the Tarot. Okay, and then we're going to get right into Chapter 3, A Deck of Shadows. And it's going to be having several different chapters introducing the deck. Chapter 5, A Ritual to Bless Your New Deck. Oh, I see how this is. It's telling you uh, about the tarot deck, how to bless your deck. Um, you know, how to do a reading, okay, and how to do some tarot spreads. I thought this was basically a story, but I think they have it broken down into chapters. Um, what normal uh, basic uh, guidebooks show as, you know, the first few pages of, you know, how to cleanse your cards, how to do a reading, you know, uh, shuffling your deck, cutting the cards, then card spreads. But this is assigning uh, chapters to each individual section of that. And there we are with the four card spread, the horseshoe spread, the crossroads spread, uh, between heaven and hell spread. That looks like an interesting one. <laughs> How to do shadow work with this deck. And it says, the shadow according to analytical psychology is a projection of the unconscious parts of ourselves that the ego, our conscious mind, does not identify with. Uh, to give a very simple example, if you were taught from a young age that being excessively proud of yourself was socially unacceptable, you would learn to repress any feelings of pride and tuck them away where they couldn't be seen. If you felt that pride swell within you, it might cause shame and you would learn to numb yourself to that sensation until it was lost to you. So it tells you a little bit about shadow work, uh, the grimoire of meanings. So I guess this is going to go into the card meanings. Yes. Major Arcana, look at this, how beautiful. An entire page is dedicated to the picture on the card. Okay, and this is the Fool. It's going to give you a brief description of the Fool. Okay, it's even going to give you the reversed meanings. And I hope the camera is picking up on this. Yeah, let me just tilt this down. It's going to give you what the card indicates, the start of a transformative uh, exploration. Uh, the Fool recommends accepting a diversion in our plan, and then if it's reversed, warns of foolishness and unhealthy risks. So it's going to show the card, okay? And then just one page of the information, which I love, not too much, not too little, I would say this is just right. And it's gonna go through all of the, the tarot cards, okay? So very, very nice, well-made guidebook. And the Minor Arcana, Okay, so it is a very nice guidebook, okay, and it's like about over 200 pages, I'd say like 204 pages, so very well-made guidebook, and let's take a look at the cards. Wow. 
And look at how beautiful. That's the back of the card. I love the rose. How pretty is that? Okay, and let's just take the wrapping off the deck here. I want to be careful not to damage the cards. And again, I love how vibrant that red rose is. And these are going to be average size tarot cards. They're going to be a glossy finish. Uh, cardstock is a little on the thinner side, so you want to be careful with these. And let's take a look at them. Okay, and uh, the illustrations are by Craig Mayer. And this is going to be the full. And this is the magician. The high priestess. The empress. The emperor. The hierophant. And these are not going to look like your traditional Rider Wade Smith deck, okay? So if you're a beginner, this may be quite a challenge for you. I mean, you could follow the instructions in the book, but this is a uniquely themed deck based on vampires and their own style of artwork. Um, here we have the Hierophant. Usually we have someone, um, you know, standing there, you know, from the church holding something up. This is just basically a statue and it's kind of like looking off to the side instead of straight at you. We have the doorway here and the lovers, okay? And normally we have the lovers facing each other, okay? These are staring into the future, <laughs> for lack of a better word, looking forward, let's say, off to the side. And then we have the chariot. That's an interesting take on the chariot. It looks like this woman is on a, a stage or a platform of some kind. We're used to the horse-drawn carriage. Strength. Okay, it looks like it's half lion and half human. Very interesting. The hermit. And as always, we have the, the light that the hermit usually is holding, something illuminating. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man, looks like a hanged bat, <laughs> a Batman. Death. Temperance, and we have the pouring there like we're used to seeing in Temperance. The Devil, it's an interesting Devil card. I would say that's kind of very typical of a, a Rider Wade Smith where we have the Devil in the middle and the people down below in bondage or on their knees here. The tower. The star. The moon. And we just have the glow of the moon on the water. We don't actually see it in the sky. That's very interesting. That's a beautiful picture. The sun. Judgment. The world, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Cups. Now that looks like a good vampire card. We have the Chalice of, of blood here. How interesting is that? Two of cups. I could see the connection here with the two of cups and the two people. Three of cups celebrating. Yes, yes. Three of cups is celebrating. Four of cups. Five of cups. Sorrow. 
She, she looks like she's in a cemetery, a graveyard. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. And typically the card Four of Swords has someone laying down, resting, recharging. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. And she has planted her seeds. And she has all these beautiful flowers from her hard work. The fruits of her labor. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And last but not least, King of Pentacles. So this is an interesting take, okay, on tarot. Again, it's a vampire-themed deck. Let's see how this is to shuffle. Okay, very easy to shuffle. Okay, so these will be a bit of a challenge for a beginner, okay, because we don't have the typical uh, straightforward Rider Wade pictures that we're all used to. Um, it has vampires in each card. Uh, the book is very, very well done. I love the colored pictures and I'm glad that it's not too wordy. Um, this is going to be a beautiful addition to my ever-growing tarot deck collection. And if you would like to purchase this deck, click the link in the description box down below and you could purchase one of these for yourself. I think this is a great spooky deck, which is perfect for Halloween, which is right around the corner. And if you've enjoyed this flip through and unboxing, uh, please hit the like button, help this channel get exposure and subscribe because I will be back with more.